Good afternoon, neighbors. I'm back again, and it's the day before Christmas Eve. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to like the videos after you've seen a couple. And also, when you subscribe, hit that notification bell so it lights up so you don't miss any of the videos in the upcoming uh future. Also in the comments, if you would just go ahead and make a comment on the video after we've gone through everything that I'm showing you today in this video, and also visit my playlists and all my other videos to learn about being self-sufficient, being frugal, working with a budget, sometimes tighter than most, and also all the trying times that are going on right now in our lives. Well, let's get into the video. As you can see, I have our shopping cart out, and that means we have picked up a few things at the store. You see on the left, there is it's called full green riced broccoli and cauliflower. Now this is shelf stable. It's perfect for your working pantry. It's perfect for a long-term pantry. It's nice to take with you. Uh, if you don't eat rice or you don't want to eat regular rice, this is fully cooked. You can eat it right out of the bag. It's better if you warm it up. What I'm going to do this Christmas, I'm going to make um, riced cauliflower and broccoli, but I'm going to add that cream of chicken soup that you see in the picture. I'm going to add some herbs and maybe some onions and some other things and make a casserole. You can put cheese on the top if you'd like, or you don't have to. It works out really well. I've eaten it many times before and it's very filling. Now, what I do add is, you see a can of chicken broth. I add a can of chicken broth, or about a half, depending on how much, uh, I call it cauli rice, uh, that you put in the casserole dish. And then that way, like I said, you can add other vegetables. I have an example, maybe corn. You could add corn in there if you'd like. And if you want to stay keto friendly, look on all the backs of the cans and containers and see how many carbs, and make the casserole the way you'd like to make it. You'll also see a can of 100% pure pumpkin. This could be for pumpkin pie, pumpkin cookies. Uh, you could make a pumpkin smoothie if you'd like. I've heard of that, and you, they put different things in it. You can do anything you want with this pumpkin, but the most popular is pumpkin pie. Now the, the corn, the whole kernel corn, you can actually put this in cornbread muffins if you want. Now what I've done in the past, I've made cornbread muffins, but I've made it more like a breakfast muffin. I had uh, quite a few people to feed, and so I made cornbread muffins, but I put dried fruit, I chopped up nuts pretty fine, uh, maybe pecans or even almonds, but making sure they're small pieces. And also I put in there some chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. Uh, I even put butterscotch in there one time. And I made a batch with cinnamon. It was very, very good. Uh, I also had the little quiche in a muffin pan. So I had quiche. They could add vegetables, whatever they would like to, to add. Cheese, ham, bacon, or you can just leave it plain. I baked a large quantity of both of those. I had a fresh fruit salad for in the morning, and then your choice of coffee, tea, uh, decaffeinated, chamomile tea, whatever you would like. Well, neighbors, I am so glad you stopped by this afternoon. I know everyone's out there uh, in the hustle and bustle trying to get their food for the holidays, trying to get last minute gifts. But if you have just a minute, go ahead and subscribe, like I said. Um, I'd love that in the channel. It would do wonders for the channel if you subscribed. Tell your friends to stop by and watch the videos. Tell your friends there are quite a few different shorts, short videos on here. It's about a 15 second video, so most people have about 15 seconds these days. Again, I'm glad you stopped by, and I hope to see you soon.